My name is Jesse and today we are heading out to do some lake trout fishing. Unlike the other lakes that I go to, this particular lake we're going to be able to have the opportunity to get on some bigger fish. Bright and early in the morning we got the sun just peeking up behind me and I'm the only one out here. This morning, I'm gonna be starting off with my white marabou jig. Just gonna give it a second for the sun to charge it up so it does have a glow head on it. So that way, when I get down to the bottom, it's something for them to key in on at a further distance. But one thing I've learned before you start your day is you check your drag. I've lost a lot of fish this year because I haven't really checked my drag. I like to hook onto something and then really give it a good tug. See if there's any, you know, little kinks in the line that could cause it to snap. I think it's just a good practice to do before you start your day. Oh. Oh, 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 gotcha. There we go. Oh, that caught me by surprise. Doesn't feel huge, but uh, I'll take a fish at this point. It's been maybe an hour. What do we got? Not huge, but it's a fish. There we go, just took some patience there, nice. Little fat laker, got that on the white chartreuse jig. Decent little laker, we're gonna get him back. It's super cold out here. I don't wanna keep him out of the water for too long. Important to get right back down to the bottom because where there's one, there's usually a couple more. So we're gonna drop down right away. We got that on the white marabou jig. The white one's awesome because it has a glowing head on it. So right now we're fishing 76 feet. And you know, once you get to about that depth, there's not many colors that show up. You know, black will stand out down there, blue even. But anyway, once you get down to those depths, it's nice to have something that'll stand out a little bit. Uh, but anyway, that was some excitement for the morning. Hopefully we're gonna have another one coming along. Oh, oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's a better fish. Yep, that's a better fish. Well, I just, I know for a fact that my jag is set right. Yeah, this feels good, guys. See if he gives me another run here. A lot of times they come up to the surface, see it, and they'll dig right back down. Chartreuse did the trick, eh? Oh, he ain't bad, he ain't huge, but. That's a good fish. Yeah. There we go. That is not a bad laker right there. Check that out. <laughs> Told you we'd be getting more quality fish today. Solid laker. Got him on the chartreuse jig. Made sticking it out worthwhile here. I mean, we can get significantly bigger fish in this area than this, but I'll take it. Just gotta pop that guy out. Look, one quick look, look at that fish. Absolutely beautiful. Back down he goes. Check that out. All right, there we go. That is, uh, that's a decent fish right there. If you guys wanna try these jigs out, I do tie them myself and I have them for sale on my website. So I'm gonna pop that up right here for you guys. Chartreuse and white are my favorite, but I've got some other colors that I use, especially when the bite slows down. It's good to switch things up. You never really know what they want. Like trout can be kind of a pain and <laughs> that's really what makes them fun. That kind of makes the day for me. Oh boy, I'm getting a brain freeze. I gotta face the other way. It's nice when that wind lets up. It's been pretty brutal. So I am looking for some structure right now. I'm gonna pop up my uh, that app. We're fishing some pretty cool structure here. It's got pretty much everything I look for. It's got some deep water next to it. We've got this 23 foot peak. And then over here we have this 19 foot peak. Uh, so both these hills are ambush spots. You know, there are bait fish on either of them and the lake trout will swim up and see if they can startle them, disorient them, and then potentially grab a few. So they're coming to this area to eat. But what I like to fish most often is this deeper area, uh, this trench 
right in between the two. So we're looking at about 30 feet and we have a little dip to 38. Uh, so they use this as kind of a corridor to travel into this area. But I have seen bait fish down here too. So I'm sure they're down there pushing them around and using these steep cliffs on either side of us to push bait fish up. Oh, wow. <laughs> Was not paying attention. Just sitting here on my phone. See what we got. Doesn't feel huge, but obviously I'm pretty bored, so I'm happy to get a fish. Laker. Hey, <laughs> I'll take it. On that chartreuse jig, look at that. Nice, clean colored one. We've been catching some dark ones today, but Happy to catch this guy. Obviously, I was sitting there pretty bored. Oh, that was a nice surprise right there. Look at that. Nice little laker. Off he goes. That was awesome. So unexpected. I just felt, I know, I felt weight on my line. I was super surprised. I mean, it's been slow. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> so a lot of times you see me, you know, I do that initial hook set, especially when I'm not paying attention. I'll give them another hook set and lake trout have a hard mouth. So you really want to drive it in there. And if you think you got a pretty shallow hook set, just give them another one. If your drag set right, it's not going to affect anything. And uh, that assures you're not going to lose them. Yeah, that ain't bad. It's got some weird color. Maybe it's my glasses. Yeah, it was my glasses. <laughs> Looks like the key is not paying attention. Every time I take out that phone, we get a fish. So anyway, let's get him on his way. Don't want him to freeze like me. For a cold, windy day, we're doing all right out here. You probably can't hear me at all. Is that better? We've got one decent one and is it three little ones? So hey, that's not too bad. Anyway, I have to get going because I need to ship a bunch of those jigs out before my glide. Uh, I'm cold enough I can't talk but I have to ship out some of those flies to you guys thank you guys so much for that support I do appreciate it if you guys want to pick some up for yourself if you haven't got any yet you can check out the website down below I'll put it in the comments I think today would have had potential to get much better but I do have to go I'm starting a guide class tomorrow so I do hope to offer a guiding service quite soon but first things first I gotta pass the test so anyway thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate all the support you've shown and I will catch you in the next adventure hopefully we're gonna do it just a bit longer and we're gonna catch that 10 pounder next time so I'll see you guys later